On global warming, uh, I've read a quote that says, I think it's absolutely not proven, and for us to be contemplating fixing something that is not proven is absurd. Can you tell us your views on man's role on climate change, and then tell us how this affects your positions on energy policy, particularly cap and trade? Sure. Well, first of all, if you take a look at geologic time, we've had huge climate swings. We're sitting here in Wisconsin. Had it not been for climate swings, we'd be sitting on a two or three hundred foot thick glacier. So the man wasn't around back then. So no, I, I absolutely do not believe that uh, you know the science of man, man caused climate change is uh, proven. Not, not by any stretch of the imagination. I think it's far more likely that it's just sunspot activity or something just in, in the geologic uh, eons of time where we have changes in the climate. We, we, we witnessed it repeatedly. The Middle Ages was an extremely warm period in time, too. And it wasn't like there were tons of cars on the road. So f it always strikes me as a little absurd for anybody to think, OK, this is the sweet spot in geologic time for climate. And it's, it's such a good place that, that we have to spend trillions of dollars and do great harm to our economy, by the way, and I would say, I would argue on a fool's errand. So I don't think we can do anything about controlling what the climate is. We, we would just penalize our economy tremendously. And for the state of Wisconsin, it would be extremely harmful. If, if, if we would have passed the Doyle tax and, and trade, <coughs> I'd, I'd, I'd say a cap, cap and tax, mm -hmm. but cap and trade bill, uh, that would cost an average family in Wisconsin $1,600. There have been estimates that it would cost Wisconsin 40 to 60,000 jobs to enact something like this. I mean, that's real harm in the economy. And I think we had a wake up call with the whole Bucyrus incident. We see what the effect would be when we start implementing these types of green policies. And it's not that I'm not an environmentalist, I'm, I'm a huge outdoorsman. I like a pristine environment. I get my water from a well, I don't want to see groundwater contamination. So I'm all for environmentalism, environmentalism and the way, the way you have a, a very uh, clean environment, you have a productive economy. You have a successful and growing economy. Because America is such a strong economy, we do lead the world in terms of our environment and, and what we're able to spend to maintain a clean environment. What do you think the CO2 does up there? Does it have an effect? I, th I, th I think it's sucked down by trees and helps trees grow. Okay.